Today we're going to be talking about the enhanced games for the Quest 3, the games that are giving you the best visuals and of course making the games feel optimised for the Quest 3, showing off what this headset can actually do. Of course we're in a weird limbo stage at the moment where not enough games are truly taking advantage of what the headset can do and we don't really get to see and have that shining glory of what the power of the Quest 3 truly is just yet. Now we are just about to turn that corner when games are all going to be releasing with Quest 3 enhancements but right now we are in that sort of sticky situation where it's kind of mostly just Quest 2 games still. But today I'm going to tell you a list of games that are going to be making the most out of your headset. So if you want to dive in and just experience what the Quest 3 is capable of, jump into any of the games I'm going to suggest today and you will have that moment of, wow, this is what I paid for. Let's kick this off with Red Matter 2. This game looks genuinely mind-boggling. When you get into this game, I experienced it myself firsthand, and it was one of those moments where I was like, am I playing PC VR right now, or am I playing on standalone headset? When you actually have to question that, that's when you truly understand they've done a good job of utilizing the headset. So definitely one to be checking out, and honestly, just a great game anyway. If you haven't experienced Red Matter 2, I highly recommend this game. Into the Radius, this is not only one of the best games for getting in and actually having a survival experience and well a little bit of creep at the same time but now of course they brought up that visual fidelity rising this way closer to the pc vr build now to be clear i am going to be talking about references to way feeling like pc vr but let's be honest it's still like a low-end pc vr experience but still to even achieve that on a quest is pretty mind-boggling but interradius is a very good example of that giving you some like dynamic shadowing and just just making the game really feel a lot better of an experience to play not just that but also a, a really smooth experience no juddering no like frame drops or anything like that that we kind of got with the quest 2 now it's just a very solid action-packed experience. Pavlov Shack is up next. Now this is no longer a free-to-play beta anymore, it is now a fully-fledged game that's out on the store. So this is an exciting time to jump into it because this is utilizing not only the power of Quest 3, but really a, just a damn fine game. Pavlov is a very, very solid shooter if you want to get in and just have some fun. Very Call of Duty-esque in that sense of things and get in there, have a blast, and there's a zombie mode as well, which is an absolute blast. So good game, and it looks freaking beautiful. Next up, if you want to feel like Spider-Man in VR, it's Resist. This game is freaking dope. They just did a huge visual overhaul for the PC VR side of things, and now they're doing one as well for the Quest, bringing it up, making it look even better. This game is freaking amazing. There's a ginormous city that you get to venture around with your web slinging abilities, essentially grappling hooks, but let's be honest, it makes you feel like Spider-Man. On top of that, you get some dope guns and a freaking sick story that will lead you through for hours upon hours of gameplay. This is definitely one to check out because the city just looks so much better with enhanced graphics, so make sure you be checking this out as it's flipping dope. Next up, get ready to become a secret agent because it's Aspire 2. Not only has it got a bit of a facelift where the game looks incredible now, on top of that they also added in all of the MR missions so that you can make the most out of the mixed reality functions of your Quest 3 at the same time as having an absolute blast in the game looking nice. So this one's an actual huge win because I like to see that people are starting to integrate mixed reality into their games and honestly I'm kind of down for them to remain as like tacked on experiences for just now while we figure out exactly what makes a mixed reality experience good versus bad and genuinely at this point it's a good experience if you want to get in there and try out mixed reality taking out some bad guys and of course the game looking really gorgeous dungeons of eternity this is one of my favorite multiplayers at the moment i absolutely adore this game getting in there and doing dungeon runs with friends and just how involved this game is with its full physics engine and all of the different weaponry you can unlock as you go through grinding on this not only that now but it looks absolutely stunning on the quest 3 making use of just sort of baking in some better texturing here and there and honestly just making it feel way more immersive when you're in there just because it just looks gorgeous now to be fair this game looks freaking gorgeous on the quest 2 but now with the quest 3 on top of that with the lenses and the screens and ooh, 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 enhancements it's a good time to be going into that game. Drop Dead The Cabin. Now, this is a game that's main core game has, of course, again, been enhanced for the Quest 3, but not only that, they've dropped in a full mixed reality experience as well. And I, I say full mixed reality experience because I've played this like multiple times. In fact, I think I've played the MR experience more than I've played the original game, which is saying something. Uh, in this, you get to turn your home into the cabin where you sort of place the walls where you want and you place the windows and doors and stuff where you want as well. And then you can have Zombos actually 
breaking in through your windows and doors in your house. It's very, very cool the way they've done this. And again, just a shining example of the Quest 3's mixed reality features, as well as making it look incredibly nice. So a huge win for them. Of course, one of the hard hitters, Population 1, has had one of the biggest visual upgrades. This game just looks absolutely stunning in VR now, on top of the fact that it just plays and runs so smoothly. So if you're looking for a really solid experience in a multiplayer Fortnite-esque kind of battle royale situation, this game is just dope. And of course, you know, it's still very, very populated. So if you're actually looking for a VR multiplayer that still maintains a player base, this is going to be the one for you. Smash Drums is also another cool rhythm game. Now, I'm a little bit biased about this one because I'm actually in the game, as you can play on the Reister King drum set. Much love to the people that made that happen. Thank you. But for real, this has had a visual upgrade as well as a mixed reality mode integrated in. Uh, this one's pretty unique as well. Just watching your wall explode out and then sort of like the Smash Drums elements coming through. It's pretty damn cool, I'm not going to lie. So Smash Drums, you smashed it. Uh, definitely, again, one of the only other rhythm games that I truly care about. So good times all around. Hubris has also had a huge overhaul making this game look absolutely stunning. Now this game already looked beautiful on the Quest 2 but now it looks ugh, next flipping level. You actually feel way more immersed in this game just by the fact that it looks so much nicer. So if you haven't played this I recommend go and check it out. Broken Edge is another one that's taken advantage of the Quest 3 and of course it's mixed reality mode where it's given you a new way to sort of break down the game, giving you kind of like a piece of the game in a mixed reality world. Pretty cool, pretty unique and uh, a fun experience. So if you're into this game, then I think you're going to have a great time, you know, just utilizing what the Quest 3 can do with the mixed reality and of course the enhancements. Now I feel like I've said those words way too many times for each of these games because honestly it gets to a point where you're like, yeah, it looks better. And uh, yeah, it has an MR mode. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to break down all of the things that you guys and girls can actually get up to on the Quest 3 so that there's kind of something there for everyone to dive into at least one of these experiences and have a great time showing off what the Quest 3 is capable of and of course just enjoy themselves. Now there's a few more titles that are coming up very soon that are going to have visual enhancements as well and I think they're going to make a big difference to how the game plays. There are things like Swordsman VR which is going to have an enhanced version coming out very soon. There is Saints and Sinners Chapter 1 and I believe Chapter 2 is coming after that but regardless Chapter 1 is going to be getting a visual improvement where you're going to have more zombies on screens. Of course there's a good chance that I've missed at least one game and if I have please do let me know in the comments down below. As well as that if you don't want to answer that question then let me know what you you would like to see enhanced for the quest 3 well that's going to do it for this video if you enjoyed it please smash like subscribe and of course let me know in the comments down below what games you would like to see enhanced for the quest 3 that's all from me take care bye this is insane this looks terrifying um it looks like the red matter broke out <laughs> wow this is what i paid for